Supermarkets are the spearhead of the forces using trading stamps in the big business war, waged with no holes barred. To low prices, the housewife now has another inducement, stamps. They're issued in proportion to the total bill. The more she spends, the more stamps she gets. When she's accumulated plenty of them, she can have gifts in exchange. Perhaps she now has enough for that sewing machine. Let's go behind the scenes of the stamp war. One of the warehouses from which the presents are dispatched to the gift shops established all over the country. It's an eye-opener to see how big the stamp business has become. There are nearly 40,000 places now giving stamps to their customers. That means millions of housewives conning the catalogues, feasting their eyes on the things that can be got just for stamps. All flavors from vanilla to raspberry. There's that sewing machine, and at last she has enough stamps to get it, just by going to the gift shop. Talk about never had it so good. But isn't there a catch in it? Well, not yet. All these things for stamps are paid for by the increased business the lure of stamps brings to supermarkets and other places that give them to customers. And this is what the stamp war is about. The chain stores using them hope to get all the trade there is and drive competitors out of business. So far it looks as if they're winning. Though the 40,000 places using stamps are outnumbered by the 700,000 that won't touch them. The 40,000 are big people, powerful, confident they'll win. But completely unconcerned about all that is our contented housewife whose sewing machine dream has come true. Behind the world of shops, that's what's going on today. For the campaign against trading stamps, Mr. J. Maud Roxby, a director of the Distributed Trades Alliance. Our alliance is an association open to all traders in Britain who hold common views on the undesirability of trading stamps. In deciding on her purchases, the housewife should be influenced by three factors only. Quality, price, and service. Stamps conceal these factors. They are nothing but a bribe. Stamps cost the shopkeeper two and a half percent of his turnover. The stamp companies argue that extra business will easily cover this cost. And so it may for the first traders using stamps. But what happens when everyone is offering stamps. Blue stamps, red stamps, green stamps, bonus stamps, double stamps and triple stamps. The whole trade cannot expand. Inevitably, the consumer, the housewife, will pay the extra two and a half percent. 